Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran, and this is my place to talk about weight loss, life, fitness, being amazing, just living a full life, and doing it in the best possible way. I'm going to apologize beforehand because I have a dog that's whining here. She wants my attention. My hair is wet because I had an epiphany in the shower and had to come immediately to film. So now we're four days into the new year. And I thought, let's go ahead and talk about the first three days and see what I did. Now, I started out my first day of the year strong. I posted a short video about how I was up at six in the morning on that exercise bike and everything was good. On Tuesday, I actually talked a little bit about being outside with Zoe getting my steps. Brr, it's cold out here but I'm out with the dog, so I am walking. Whenever she decides to sniff, I'm walking in place, getting my steps so I can get my miles for the 2024 challenge. Cold, doesn't matter, I still get them. So it's only the third day of the month, but I am still on track with my mileage. I'm gonna tell you, the exercise bike is kicking my behind. I have not ridden a bike in a while, and my butt is so sore. Zoe apparently wanted to add in her little moans and groans. But anyway, my butt is so sore. And Zoe is hanging outside the gate right now, so I'll take a little picture of her so you can see her. Yesterday on Wednesday, the 3rd, I actually went ahead and I was outside and I filmed a segment about stress and control. Good morning. It's like seven in the morning. I'm playing fetch with the dog. It's like 30 degrees. It's really chilly, but hey, the dog likes it. And I'm getting steps in at the same time. The thought that was in my head a lot yesterday, I had two main things that went through my head and I was thinking about a lot. Number one, I was actually thinking a lot about control. So I saw a YouTube video yesterday. It was talking about control and how the person was like, I'm in control and it feels good. And it made me go back and remember those days where I was in control. It was so empowering because I actually was in control of my addictions, my eating, my life. And I just want to get that feeling back. Control, huge, 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 huge. So that's going to be my focus for the rest of the week, control. I'll let you know how that goes. The other thing that I thought about a lot was the fact that yesterday wasn't a good day. Went back to work, everything was okay. It was crazy busy though. And we were just slammed and things were happening. And at lunchtime, I actually went to eat. I was doing really good. I chose my food, but I came to the macaroni salad and instead of dishing out my portion, I just opened up the bowl and started eating. And I ate a whole lot of macaroni salad. And I then had a lot of acid reflux afterwards because I'm finding out that my acid reflux is linked with a lot of how much I'm eating. Yes, types of food, but with how much. So after lunch, I felt really bad. And then I, you know, walked with the dog for 20 minutes of my last part of my lunch, started to feel a little better, so I was doing okay. And then I went to visit my mom last night, and it was one of those nights where she was just kind of like staring. She wasn't really active in a conversation. It was just kind of, she was just kind of out of it. This comes and goes a lot with her. And, you know, then she was doing crazy things, some of her crazy things, like she had me open up her water drink, which had a lid on it, to make sure there were no snakes in it. She's, like, convinced that there are snakes, but it's, you know, it was a difficult night. So on my 30, 45 minute drive home, all I could think about was, I wanna eat cookies. And I had made cookies in December, my birthday cookies. I'm making them for myself. My mom used to make them for me. And I made them for myself and I froze them. And I knew they were frozen. And I've actually done really good in the month. I actually haven't pulled out any of them. But last night I did. I pulled them out and I ate two of my cookies. They were delicious, but they were not planned. And it was stress eating. Stress eating is really, really difficult for me. So that's what I was thinking about yesterday. It is now Wednesday morning and I am determined to make today a fabulous day. And that brings me to my epiphany. And here it is. I was in the shower, getting ready to get in the shower, and I stepped on the scales. I weigh myself every day. 
And this past week, I actually have been showing myself down in the next decade of weight. I have gotten past that unhappy, happy weight that my body seems to go back to. And I've been tickled with that. Until today when I stepped on it, boom, boom, my weight is right back above that decade right back where my body seems to gravitate. And I was frustrated and I'm in the shower and I'm like, this is just not cool. This is not right. And as I sat there, I'm just like, get control of yourself, Mary Fran. Get control of yourself and act like you want to lose weight instead of giving up because the scale showed something bad. And as I sat there, Zoe's walking around, and as I stood there in the shower, I was thinking about the word control. Because yesterday morning, I actually talked a little bit about control. Weirdly enough, it didn't hit me till I was in the shower today that when I talked in that same clip about stress, that when I stress ate is when I actually lost control. Control is huge. And then someone left a comment and said, you know, control should be your word of the year. And I was like, I'm not doing words of the year because I haven't done one in years. And so I'm in the shower and I'm like, you know, the word control has come up an awful lot. Maybe I need to do a word of the year this year and make it control. And I'm not going to say that I'm going to do a word of the year, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the word of the week in my journal, on my day planner at the top. And this week will be control because I need to be in control. And next week may also be control. It might be control for the whole year. Whatever the word of the week is going to be, it's gonna be at the top of each week in my day planner. But control, huge. I need control. I need control to not give up because I saw something bad on the scales. I need control to not eat cookies because my mom was out of it. I need control to conquer this weight loss. Now, about that weight loss, I realized at the very end of my shower that I did eat sauerkraut last night and mashed potatoes with lots of salt. So maybe the weight was up because of that. I don't know. I'm not going to say for sure. I'm just going to say that I'm going to keep on keeping on. So there's my first three and starting the fourth day of the year, I am going to be working on control and I'm going to continue getting my steps and I'm going to work on being the strongest version of me possible. The next week or two are going to be crazy because I have an endoscopy. And I also have a colonoscopy scheduled for the next two weeks, one each week. And that's going to put a kink in the eating a couple days, but it has to be done. I am quite nervous about it, nervous about the procedures, and I'm honestly afraid of what they're going to find. I'm afraid of what they may find. I have no symptoms of anything for the colonoscopy, but my father did die of colorectal cancer, so it's kind of scary and I have had unchecked acid reflux apparently for about four or five years so who knows what the esophagus who knows what the esophagus is going to look like so I'm a little nervous about that and it's going to present some food challenges I'm going to roll with them because you know hey a colonoscopy that's kind of like a day and a half of fasting so <laughs> let's clean me out and lose a little bit of pounds maybe hopefully but I'll keep you posted on that. I may actually do a video of the colon prep and the prep just because I know other people out there are in the same boat as me, worried about getting it as they get older. So I might do a video of that whole process. Let me know in the comments below if that would be something that you're interested in. Anyway, no excuses. Live your life. Control your life.